So last night I had a chance to sit down and go through the supposed bipartisan commission for on January 6th that came out of the House, and it became apparent pretty quickly what this is all about. So let me first say this. There's no cover-up here. Everyone, or we already know what happened January 6th. It was a horrifying day. It's something that should never happen again. And we're going to learn even more about what happened that day. Why? Because the Justice Department, as they should, is trying to prosecute and put in jail hundreds of people responsible for what happened that day. And they should. If you committed violence on that day, if you were there to hang the vice president or to kill any member of Congress, the speaker, whoever, you should be put in jail. You should go to jail. And we're going to learn from those investigations how that happened and what led to that point. And then the Democrats control committees in the House. They control committees in the Senate. They can do investigations. Some of them already are. We're going to learn from that. Capitol Police has already done its own commission about what went wrong that day. We've already learned from that. So there's plenty of attention being paid to this, not to mention that the media doesn't stop talking about it. They're also looking at it. So everyone's looking at it. So there's no cover up here. So, so what is this about? I'll tell you what this is about. First thing that stood out for me. Okay, this is about politics. Here's how. They have this thing that says, well, in order to issue a subpoena, you need both the Republican and the Democratic side evenly divided to agree to it. But that's not the point for politics. You don't actually need the subpoena. All you need is a story out there saying, Congressman so-and-so, they want to subpoena him or her, uh, but they can't because the Republicans are blocking it. And then the stories are going to be, number one, it creates this impression that maybe Congressman so-and-so did something wrong. Why would they want to subpoena him? And number two, the story would be Republicans are covering up the investigation into Congressman so-and-so. So that's what this is about. It's about damaging Republicans. You don't even need the subpoena. You just need the request for subpoena to damage Republicans for blocking it and to damage that member of Congress or whoever it is simply because you want to look at them. Why would you want to look at them unless they did something wrong? That's what this is about. It's about keeping the House majority in 2022 and winning elections and keeping this in the headlines. And by the way, it's not evenly divided because the chairman of this commission has the power to hire all the senior staff and has special powers to overrule decisions made by the other side and the vice chair. This is a partisan joke.